Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, are you always afraid that your relationships will end? Well, there's no faster way to end a relationship than to sabotage it right from the start. And a lot of people do this without even knowing they're doing it. And it's all about your mindset. What is running through your mind when you're meeting somebody? Is it, this isn't going to work, why am I bothering, they always end, it only lasts for a month, or I'm only going to see them for three dates. All these things play out and put that energy out there. And so what happens is your body language, your behavior, even your verbal conversations become a negative place. And what it does is the person that's listening to you hears that you're saying, this isn't going to work. Even if you're not saying those direct words, that's what they're hearing because you are putting out sort of a, a down, downward um, opinion about what's going to transpire. As I say, you don't even have to say it verbally. It can just be in how you show up, how you are on a date. So if this is becoming a negative pattern for you, and it might be because you're here watching this video, and that's good that you are because at least you know something's going on. But what's happening if this is continually bombarding your thoughts every time you decide, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to change things. I'm going to go out and I'm going to date and I'm going to be a good person and all that. But you might subconsciously be choosing the right, the wrong partners. So what's happening is you keep attracting the same type towards you because you know it's going to end so you sort of sabotage it and you allow those people in time and time again to prove yourself right that it's not going to work. But how is that working? How is that working for you? What are you doing that is enhancing your life? You're causing so much friction and so so much energy you're putting into people that you know aren't going to work for you. A lot of this has to do with fear of commitment. Being afraid to finally get that partner that you can settle down with and enjoy and so many things work for the two of you together. But that can be really scary. That can be scary for a lot of people because a lot of people don't know how to have a strong committed relationship. They haven't been in one long enough, or maybe they saw stuff from their, their family, their, their parents, or maybe they had their first relationship when they were young was, was terrible and didn't work out. And so that's what they see. That's what you see all the time is the similar situation that you had to deal with. You can't look at life always in the same context. Life is about lessons but it's about learning lessons, not repeating them. You want to learn what didn't work for you, what's going to work for you. And that's where you put your energy. You put it completely into something that feels good and feels right. And there's no negative thoughts. If you're always choosing the same type of people, of course, it's not going to work out because it's never worked in the past. And you're choosing people who are similar to that. You're just asking for the same thing. But a lot of the times you know that subconsciously and that's why you do it. Another thing that can happen, you, you have one really bad breakup and then you start painting everybody with the same brush. They're all going to do that to you. And that's really sad to me because if you're giving that much energy and power to an ex person who broke your heart and was not very kind to you, you're living your life still under their power. And to me, that's not learning what you're supposed to learn. You're supposed to take from that how much more you deserve and how much better you should be treated by somebody that you love and who loves you. You might have to take a year or two off from dating to figure things out. You might need to go talk to somebody. You might have some cobwebs or some something inside of you that keeps verbalizing things to you. It's almost like you've got that voice inside of your head that just keeps talking to you. And you want to get rid of that voice because you don't want to repeat a lot of negativity in your life. You want to have positive feedback and you want to find your special person. So if you're always afraid that your relationships will end, 
is probably what's going to happen. So you have to get to the point where you believe you deserve a relationship. You know you're worthy of it. You know you're worthy of having somebody of substance and somebody special that you can share things with. It could be that you're the one that's not ready for a relationship. So you're choosing a lot of the wrong people so that you can walk away from it. This can be quite common and a lot of people don't know they're doing it. They, you might have low self-esteem things that you're dealing with and it causes you to choose people that aren't in the, the type of person you truly, truly want to end up in a long-term commitment with. It's easier to say goodbye to somebody if you're not really that interested in them then go through another maybe breakup like you had in the past with somebody that you truly love. But it's worth it to hang in there and wait to meet the right person rather than continuing to repeat a pattern that isn't working for you. This can also happen when someone really broke your heart and you said, okay, I'm never going to get dumped again. That's it. That's such a horrible feeling. I'm going to be the one that does it before they do it to me. And so then this becomes almost like a little game that, okay, well, I can feel a difference happening between us, so I'm going to end things now. I know that sounds really sort of juvenile, but it's, it, again, it's a subconscious thing sometimes that we don't know we're doing. It's because we don't want to go through that pain again, so we'll play things out for a while. If we start to see any changes at all, we'll be the first one to break things off. And then you're not ending up in a long-term relationship again. So there's a lot of sabotage that goes on with if this is a repetitive situation in your life. And a lot of it you don't know you're doing, but you need to start analyzing what's happening. You don't want to go into every new relationship thinking it's going to end, or why would you even date? Why would you even go out there and put yourself out there? Because it's just going to be hurtful every time because you're putting energy into people and that takes a lot of work. Dating is not easy. It's a lot of time spent with people, a lot of time spent out of your life. So you want to go into it thinking that something will work for you. Otherwise, why are you dating? So that's just a thought I want you to think about here. Really pay close attention to what thoughts are running through your head all the time. Because those thoughts, if they're positive, that's great. If they're negative, you need to remove them. You need to get to the root of the problem and find out why they're there because you deserve to be happy. Thanks so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments below. I love hearing from all of you. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and please click like. Thank you so much everyone. Take care. Bye.